first, they made a chain because of a cool kid called Hayden. Then they realized it didn't work very well, so they made another chain. And that was cool because it was cheap. And then people realized it didn't work very well, so they made another chain, which was actually the other two chains, but with a different name. And then they called it Innovation, and everybody clapped. This is the story of BMB Chain. This is the Defiant. GM, 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 GM. Actually, can we even say that now? Shut up, Skyler. Shut up! I think we can. Shut up! We first covered Binance Smart Chain almost exactly a year ago, and as always, the story needs a little context. 2020 had been the coming out party for DeFi, with the arrival of Wi-Fi, Comp, CRV tokens, and the explosion of yield farming. But with it, escalating gas fees and rising resentment from those who felt priced out of the market on Ethereum. The smart money was betting on layer twos like Loopring, Optimism, and Arbitrum. But it was Binance Smart Chain and its accompanying DEX Pancake swap, and yes, you'd best get used to the air quotes and asterisks here, that filled the gap in the market for a low-cost DeFi sandbox to play in. By March 2021, BSC had become the most used blockchain in terms of unique wallets, and Venus actually surpassed Compound and Uniswap in TVL, reaching $7 billion by the end of Q1 2021, although it rapidly lost two-thirds of that in the spring crash. Compound, by comparison, was far less badly hit. Pancake swap, though, well, that has performed surprisingly well. And. The hell? Well, yes, exactly. Us, the Defiant, a DeFi channel talking about Binance, one of the kingpins of centralized exchanges. It's a dilemma, right? Do we just ignore it or accept that for some users, this actually makes sense? So while I get cleaned up, let's hear from our sponsors. Zerion is mission control for Web3, giving users the ability to trade DeFi tokens, transfer assets across chains, and show off their NFT collections all in one place. Zerion offers a multi-chain experience with asset tracking and trading across seven networks, including Polygon, Optimism, Arbitrum and BSC, so you'll never miss an opportunity waiting on gas fees to drop. NFT owners can also see their favorite collectibles and art as widgets on their iPhones or Apple Watches and send them to friends and family in a few clicks. Users can explore every corner of the metaverse with Xerion from their web, desktop and mobile apps. So head to Xerion.io to connect your wallet and get started today. When you shop for plane tickets, you probably use Kayak, Expedia, or Google to compare ticket prices. So why would you limit yourself to just one exchange when you trade crypto? When you make your trades, you wanna make sure you're getting the best possible price, and that's why you should be using Matcha. Matcha routes your orders across all the various DeFi exchanges on Ethereum, Polygon, BSC, Phantom, and Avalanche, and gives you the best possible prices without taking any commissions. Matcha has smart order routing that splits your order across multiple liquidity sources. It also allows you to make limit orders on chain so you can set and forget your DeFi trades. New to Matcha is an integrated fiat on-ramp so you can purchase crypto directly with your credit or debit card and have that fiat be instantly traded for any token that has liquidity. Head over to matcha.xyz forward slash defiant and connect your wallet to start trading. Step Finance is the front page of Solana. Crypto moves fast with hundreds of applications and new things launching daily. Keeping track of it all is a full-time job. Step brings everything into one easy-to-use dashboard. Step's portfolio management dashboard enables Solana users to visualize, analyze, execute, and aggregate transactions across all Solana contracts at the click of a button. Step is built by DeFi Degenerates for DeFi Degenerates. Get started today by visiting step.finance and connect your wallet today. So let's start with a quick recap. Binance is, well, is a massive company now, a behemoth, a Jogdan juggernaut. And while the centralized exchange that started it all is still important, it's by no means the whole game. Binance Chain's mainnet went live April 2019, and with it arrived the Binance DEX. Projects were literally falling over themselves to launch a bet version of their token to take advantage of users of the centralized exchange that were coming over to the DEX to play for the first time. This was a mere six months after the launch of Uniswap. 
but Binance Chain was, well, it was kind of limited by design, opting for speed and low cost over functionality. A year and a half later though, in September 2020, Binance Smart Chain arrived. Designed to run in parallel with Binance Chain, it offered EVM compatibility, smart contracts, and a brand new staking mechanism for the BNB token, Money Printer. Nice. It was initially quite slow to gain traction, but when PancakeSwap launched, well, it was all the catalyst required to swing casual retail from trading on the Binance Kex to a whole world of games in DeFi. But is it even decentralized? Shut up. Well, shut up. No, not really. Shut up. Consider that Avalanche and Solana have over a thousand validators, but are still considered weak on decentralization. Binance Smart Chain has, wait for it, wait for it, 21 active validators. 21. That's it. Shut up. So now we're all caught up on the story so far. Let's dig into this latest news about BNB Chain. In a nutshell, it's all gone a little bit Spice Girls. When to become one. Binance Chain and Binance Smart Chain will now be known collectively as BNB Chain. Now note the removal of the word Binance from the name. That's deliberate. Because this is all about life beyond Binance, as in Binance the centralized exchange that dances to the tune of its own regulatory arbitrage samba beat. According to the blurb, BNB is more than just Binance. The vision is that one day everyone will own BNB, and that's why it's necessary to set it free. I am a peacock! You gotta let me fly! For BNB to reach its true potential, Binance and BSC must set sail on different courses. The cynical view here is that in the light of the Gensler gang's war on Dinos, All right. there is in fact no viable safe future for the BSC ecosystem as long as it's connected to Binance in any way, shape or form, even if that's just the name. So this new BNB chain will comprise a BNB beacon chain, i.e. what used to be Binance chain, and that will carry BNB chain governance through staking and voting. Then there will be the BNB smart chain. Yes, you guessed it. That's the former Binance smart chain, which is EVM compatible, featuring consensus layers, and with hubs to multi-chains. Whatever that means. It's a mystery. Now it's hard not to be impressed by the level of cosmetics being applied here. BNB, which has been the Binance ticker since the exchange began, has now been painfully retooled in name to mean build and build. Behold. Empty word we both they are, of course, committed to the community with a promise that the chain will be open, multi-chain, for creators and inventors, permissionless, Forever decentralized and bigger than Binance. Bigger than Binance? How? By what metrics? And what do they define as decentralized? Well, you'll be on your feet and applauding at the news that they will be expanding the validator set from 21 to, wait for it, wait for it, 41 validators. with 20 of those functioning as candidate block producers. And just as Mark Zucchini Berger was busy rebranding the whole of humanity as his own personal coterie of metamates, metamates BNB Chain was busy claiming their own piece of meta vagueness, mashing the word DeFi in there with metaverse to create MetaFi. MetaFi is a concept that combines all different types of projects such as metaverse, DeFi, GameFi, SocialFi, Web3 and NFTs and puts them under one umbrella. Hello. Hang on a second. I thought Web3 was the umbrella. Hello. Wasn't it? But Binance didn't actually originate the term Metafire. That was Outlier Ventures. And I'll link their report on what they actually mean by this below. But here's a snippet. The metaverse could be understood as an interface layer between the physical and virtual worlds, comprising a combination of innovations in hardware and software, but most importantly, an economic system parallel to the fiat financial system. And in that context, it's critical that we think about it in terms of financial inclusion. This anchor will be important as we unravel the concept of Metafy. Nothing really concrete there, but at least you know where they're going. So yeah, it's really 
very, very easy to be cynical about Binance Smart Chain and this just weird rebrand to BNB Chain. Credit where credit's due here, it is still drawing in plenty of users, but as regulators around the world front up to the task of regulating stablecoins and decentralized protocols, Dinos or not, I struggle to see how this BNB chain can survive in this new regulatory reality with only double-digit validators. As it stands, BNB chain truly is a Dino, which means that everything that builds on it will also be a Dino, no matter how unlike an ancient prehistoric lizard that protocol might be itself. Will you Who shut is up, man? Listen? Who After the intense run-up in 2021, inevitably things did turn sour, and unusually this was actually on the validator side. BSC is a lost cause, that was the title of a thread by Kaber2. Guys, seriously, WTF. This is a blockchain with supposedly billions of value, yet it is governed and developed like the project of a stone teenager. I've rarely seen something handled so unprofessionally. Overall, there's only one conclusion. Binance wanted a quick hack to make some money, but is not willing to expand even modest resources to make this thing actually work. Given that they made billions from this, this is absurd, and a huge abuse of the trust and money people put in this. Well, developer Henry K broke cover to respond in a Medium article with the surprising revelation that the dev team is very much understaffed. Think about that for a second. Binance, dev team understaffed. What was going on here? Sadly, well, this is the only post that Henry K has ever written, and after that, outpost Kaber also went strangely quiet. So I'm not really sure what to make of all of that. Drama resolved or everybody just gave up? There is still that notional $12.5 billion of TVL on the chain, so maybe it's just a case of inertia. Tons of BNB holders just can't be asked to go anywhere else. But for now, color me baffled. Be a little bit wiser, baby. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe, drop us a like, or something like that. You know what to do. Till next time, stay safe out there. This was The Defiant.